Hey guys, it's uh, Big Man here. So today we're going to be working on the next part of our boat series, and we've kind of got to the point where we've got the basics of our boat done. So it's purely just adding features and logic and stuff like that. So there will probably be an episode in the future, just so you know, that is just a time lapse of logic and stuff like that. But uh, today we're going to be building a crane on the back of it, so let's go. Okay, so firstly, um, I noticed in the last episode while I was editing it that I forgot to actually add any fluid ports to the exhausts at the bottom. So we'll just do that now. There we go, so we've got our exhaust. Um, that could have been catastrophic. So what we're gonna do is since we've got this big deck here, we're going to add a crane to the back. So, um, if you guys watch um, Stan Jersey's build series, you would have seen a crane on a tugboat, I believe it was. And we're going to do something similar to that. So we're going to have kind of like a crane that can move along the deck and it's curved like that and it can rotate back and forward and as a winch on it um it'll we'll have probably be connected to the fuel tank um we'll have internal pumps and stuff like that let's say we should probably start it over here let's drag it out to about that that's a, that's a long track but oh <laughs> okay so there's our um is that thing there? So first, what we're going to have to do is get a pivot on each side. Now this is going to be pretty bulky, um, so we've got that's going to be rotating the wrong way. There we go. So when we have a positive output, it'll rotate towards the back, and when we have positive Negative one, it'll go towards the front. Which is actually how I want it. Okay, so. Um, I think next, what I'll do is I'll just make it so that it's semi, kind of, I don't know, uh, rounded, if you could say that. And we'll do that. In fact, we'll actually round it off even more. That was horrible. Da -da -da. There we go. And we'll build that into the center. Maybe, should we just have some open pipes there? Yeah, that looks okay. Um. What I'll do is I'll just put a I'll put a block there. I can do this. Okay. And now it's a case of actually making the curve. So I think what we should do first is oh, in fact, let's still let this. <laughs> Sorry, um, and we'll get a... Why didn't I do this the first time? Let's get a robotic hinge. Is that the right side? Damn, I've got it facing the wrong. This will take a while. Um, fluid, and the fluid is on the inside. I had it right the first time. That's power. Fluid. Okay, so we got that. Um, I'm just going to merge these so that they rotate as one, and I'll merge these ones as well so that it's just generally stronger. And let's kind of make a curve, I guess. Um, Started pipes. 
and do that. Probably that. In fact, I'll just do that. Now we've got to think about where the winch goes. So I'd say let's let's replace all of these now because um, that's a good shape. And now all the corner pieces. Um, then we can smooth it off with the wedges to make it as good as possible. And yeah, that looks pretty average at the moment. But excuse me, that was my watch. But if we add some stuff there, and we're going to add probably one there, one there, and some there. Doesn't look as bad. I don't know how that looks. Um, don't know how, how I feel about that, to be honest. Um, but we'll we'll be able to modify it as we go. Okay, so let's grab a winch. So we have our large, our huge, our medium, and our small. I don't want to use a small. Um, medium's probably as small as they want to go. So let's use a medium. There we go. And we'll get a there oh um i think we'll have the pumps built into there um but now we have to let's just grab one of these so we can make a fluid rope anchor fluid hose anchor sorry um let's put it uh put that Get our logic. There we go. So if we spawn this in, hopefully, yes, we've got a we have got a crane on the back. Ah, and I just fell. Now, um, I think it probably a worthwhile thing to add at some point would be probably some ladders. So let's add some ladders at the back just now. Um, Ladders. Oop. Here we go. Just a couple of ladders, so we should be able to grab onto those and get up the back. Okay. Oh man. Um, yep. So now we've got. Now we've got a crane. Um, and I think what I'll do is I'll probably put a control port here, opposite the door, um, just to give it a bit of, kind of, untrust, I guess. But, yeah, that looks good. So, um, I think we might want to just, I don't know, maybe mess around with this crane look a little bit, because it looks like it's kind of I'm very thick to very thin quite quickly. So I'm just going to do that. Um, in terms of color scheme, we'll probably do that in another episode um, with color. But I think let's grab a fluid hose, or sorry, fluid connector. And my English is not that great today. Um, and so we've got our connector. Now let's grab some pumps. We want some. I'm going to do one side for pumping in, the other for pumping out. So let's get that's fluid out. So that'll be going into the fuel tank, and we'll want that one there. It's a fluid in going into the fuel tank, and then I'd say I'll actually just make a um. Let's keep it as white. Let's just make a separate fluid port because I don't want it like possibly stealing any fuel from the engine pipes and just cutting the flow. Let's grab a fluid port. Um, okay, so now that we've got our pumps, let's also add a 
on off valve so that we can cut off the fuel flow to those pumps um, and to the crane if we need to. Um, now that I think about it, let's get a large battery and let's just place it like place a large battery. Um, just in the middle. Yeah, we'll just place one there. So um, we have our we have our crane. We can move it. Um, well, we can't move it at the moment, but we're going to be able to move it soon. So, um, I say what we should do next is, what should we do next? Um, if you guys want me to add anything to this crane in later episodes, just let me know. Um, should we add a bit of detailing to the ends of the rails? I feel like that would just look good. Maybe just a pipe kind of thing. I feel like that, it's a, it's quite small but it works okay so now we've got to add this control panel so probably going to be about that high i'll actually make do that um now we're going to get let's get some instrument panels um because instrument panels are quite useful so let's put our panels there um, I'll just put some more there as well. I'll put a key in the center. And um, that'll be like a power thing. That'll, oh, let's actually, let's change that to a breaker. Except you, oh, man. Um, when you pull that down, it'll complete the circuit. Um, and I think I'll just do a time lapse of this, so I'll see you soon. this all works so uh, fuel level okay so we need to change that it went up to zero length take it down very nice um, get a crane to rotate forward it rotates forward set the maximum to be 0.7 Rotate it back, but we don't want to do that. Uh, uh, let's just bring our winch up. Um, bring it to there. 
the crane forward and back. We can pump, pump, pump the tank. There we go. Two is the tank. Yeah, pretty much all that fuel back. So, nice. Right, cool. So, uh, we've, we've pretty much got that crane sorted. Um, what I will do though is I'll make the speed about three. And that'll use more power, but it'll be much more quick. And so that way it'll be a lot more useful. But yeah, um, so that's, that's the crane and it works. Um, save that so yeah uh we'll set the time to today get rid of that rain but uh anyway guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye